Let's go back to energy matters now. To give us more perspective on petroleum products input, importation into the country, we're being joined on the News at 10 by Channels Television's data analyst, Babajide Ugusongo. You're welcome. Good evening, Melinda. Now, the recent figures coming out from the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, reveals that the daily on the recovery of petrol is approximately 774 million. Now, wouldn't this amount increase if the international prices of crude oil rises? Yes, you're right. If the prices of crude oil internationally rises, it's expected that the price of fuel will also rise. Now, it's not going to be a one-to-one -one rise because there are several other components in crude oil. So, yes, price of international crude goes up. Local price of petrol is expected to go up if there isn't any subsidy. And so the number one problem Nigerians are asking today is the NNPC talks about under-recovery. They don't use the word subsidy. Okay. So here's the problem we have. Is there a real difference between subsidy and under-recovery? And that is the problem we need to quickly solve. And to help us do that is the dictionary. Let's look at what the dictionary says about subsidy. And if we pick up this Oxford, Oxford Dictionary, we'll see it here. Subsidy is a noun, money granted to support an industry and thus keep prices down. And so the dictionary doesn't say anything about NNPC, but it talks about once money is done, it was given to an industry to keep prices down. It is a subsidy. And I'll make myself very clear. I have a dog at home. I call him Jasper. My neighbor calls his own dog um, Max. And I don't know if you've got a dog. You I could, don't have a dog. <laughs> you could choose to call your dog Bingo. But whatever name we call our dogs, we should not forget it is a dog. So the NNPC has a right to call theirs under recovery. But let's not forget, it is still a subsidy. That is one. Now, the second thing is, there is no such thing as a fuel scarcity. Yes, there isn't. Why do you say that? Because what we have is a thinking scarcity, a scarcity of thinking. Again, I'll make myself very clear. There are only nine countries today where petrol is sold cheaper than Nigeria, from Egypt to Algeria to Brunei, to Ecuador to Iran, to Kuwait, Libya, Turkmenistan, and indeed Venezuela. Now, these are the nine countries that fuel is a bit cheaper than Nigeria. But combine eight out of these countries, excluding Egypt, you will find out that their population is even, all these eight countries combined together have a lower population than Nigeria, but they make more money than Nigeria. So we should ask ourselves, is this sustainable? We are more or less subsidizing all of these countries. It isn't. In reality, every day is Christmas in Nigeria. Now, the third thing is for us to look at how much we spend importing this fuel. Now, the evidence does show. Let's look at what happened in 2011. We spent 2.7 trillion naira important fuel. Now in 2015, that dropped to 1.5 trillion naira. But again, we've seen the trend going up. And I'll explain to you why we saw a significant drop. I, I was about to come to that in 2015. Oh yes, we'll, we'll go into what exactly had happened in 2015. But before we go into what had happened in 2015, what Nigerians are itching for is what exactly is going on with this subsidy. NNPC says they spend 774 million naira every day now importing fuel based on their word under recovery. But let me make myself very clear again, Melinda. Today, if I ask you, what are the three arms of government? What will you say? I tell you the executive, the judiciary, and the legislature. Now, if you write, down in, write that in jam, yes, you're right. But again, that's theory. Let's look at the practical. The NNPC, based on their estimates, say subsidy for the year is 282 billion naira. Based on their own analysis, 282 billion is what we'll be spending the next one year subsidizing fuel. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the legislative budget for this year. That's only 125 billion naira. The budget for the third arm of government, the judiciary that you mentioned, only 100 billion naira. And so, in simple terms, Melinda, the combined budget of the National Assembly plus the Nigerian Judicial Council combined together lower than 250 billion naira. The budget for subsidy, 282 billion naira. And so, there are today, there are only two arms of government. We have on one side the executives, and on the second arm we have the petrolatives. Now, who are these petrolatives? 
I'll explain who these petrolatives are, are to you as well. Because that, those are the two arms that are determining what is going on today. Oh, so, <coughs> sorry, I, I know you have to take a moment there. But let's go back to those 2015 figures. Why was there a decline in petrol import in 2015? Just one reason. There was a new sheriff in town. And so the petrol boys called themselves together and said, boys, we need to be careful. We're not too sure if this subsidy shenanigans will continue or will it not. And so even though 2015, the economy grew by 2.1% based on the facts from the NBS, we saw a reduction in consumption of import, uh, imported fuel because the petrol boys didn't know what would happen. But here is the phenomenal thing. In 2016, even though there was a recession in 2016 and the economy shrunk by 1.6%, Petrol import grew again in 2016. And so we should ask ourselves, what exactly is going on? 2015, the economy grew, petrol importation declined. 2016, the economy shrunk, and then petroleum imports increased. Again, there are a lot of shenanigans going on in the petroleum industry. Well, Fabrice, do you think smuggling has anything to do with this? There are several ways we could look at this, Melinda. Again, the World Bank gives us estimates as to the number of cars around us. So they say in Bene. There are approximately 250,000 cars. The same Cameroon, by our rights. There are approximately 350,000 cars. Between Niger and Chad, they say approximately another 250,000 cars. In simple terms, what the World Bank is saying is all around Nigeria, there are less than 1 million cars. Less than 1 million. But the NBS gives us the figures of how many cars we have in Nigeria 11.5 million cars. And so, 92% of all vehicle traffic in Nigeria and around Nigeria is actually within Nigeria. Nigeria is where the devil is. And so even though we point fingers to bordering countries, oh yes, they could have an impact, but the real devil is not in heaven. The devil is within us because we do, we do see that it is either we are overestimating imports or we are underestimating consumption and let's look at seven countries Badele, seven I, states. Do, I do have to come in because we've run out of time we do have to go now thank you so much for sharing your thoughts but you know us. melinda in the final analysis the world restlessly waits what will mohammed obuari do to petrol prices let's see what happens thank you so much channel cv's data analyst